If you are still waiting for your 2019 or 2020 tax <laughs> refunds, unfortunately, you're not alone. NBC 10 Responds is learning more about your rights as a taxpayer and what you can do to get what you're owed. I'm getting absolutely nowhere. And it's not fair. But I'm like, 95 weeks, I just would like to get my $200. You heard Monique Wright. Our NBC 10 Responds viewer says... She's been waiting 95 weeks for her amended 2019 tax refund. Diana says she's been waiting for her 2020 tax refund. And with dozens of unanswered calls to the IRS, both are left without answers. These are widespread problems, according to this newly issued report to Congress from the government watchdog group, the National Taxpayer Advocate. It says the top three most serious problems within the IRS right now include excessive processing and refund delays, lack of recruitment, hiring and training of people to help taxpayers and process returns, and three, a lack of telephone and in-person service to help taxpayers. NBC10 Responds wanted to talk with IRS Commissioner Charles Reddick about the problem, but we're told he isn't available. Instead, the IRS sent us this article, Reddick wrote, for another news outlet, saying in part, quote, the IRS is operating without stable, multi-year funding in place, which creates additional impediments to our efforts to deal with our current situation. However, we have taken extraordinary measures to work through unprocessed returns and correspondence. If you are struggling to get your past tax refund from the IRS, tax attorney Omid Farouzi says you have a few options. You can file a lawsuit in federal district court against the IRS within six months of filing a refund claim, within six months of filing a tax return. If the IRS is late in issuing your refund, you're due interest. It will automatically come with your refund if it comes particularly late because the interest is based upon laws that were written decades ago. He also recommends reaching out to legal assistance groups like his office at Philadelphia Legal Assistance or contacting the Taxpayer Advocate Service for help. Of course, there are also private tax law firms, but Taxpayer Advocate Service does not charge people. As for resolving those delays, the National Taxpayer Advocate is asking Congress to increase the budget for the IRS, which includes hiring staff and updating the technology needed to expedite processing. Remember, if you have a consumer problem, we are here for you. You can call those numbers right there. We'll help you in English or Spanish or go online. Completely fill out our complaint form so we can get to work for you. It's right on our website, NBC10.com slash responds. Jim?